So, look at this. Cone, what's cone? Voluntario? T, Felicita. With E, you shouldn't have to ask that that's and. And then uh, day is, is like of. So you need those words in your the, the description of your uh, food. So you say, okay, for breakfast, um, pancakes. You don't just write pancakes. Pancakes with something else. Pancakes and something else. Um, pancakes of blueberries. Okay? So you could do it any one as long as you're using one of these. Must use one of these words along with another food or side dish for each item. Okay? Got it? Each item is worth two points for your spelling. Each word is two points? Yes. Each word is two points. Okay? It's a minor spelling error. It's like one letter wrong, then it's just minus a point. If it's the, I think it's ridiculous to spell things wrong. You, just, you can have, you use your stuff. You look at the spelling. It's right in front of you. All right, things to watch for. And you can ask me if you're, if you're unsure about something. So it's incorrect. This is called the two nouns rule, right? Tuna and sandwich. It's two nouns. You don't say atun sandwich. How would you do that? Voluntario? How would you say tuna sandwich? Trinity? Yep. Sandwich of tuna. So if you want to write that down, you can actually sandwich. That, that did it. That actually is how you say sandwich. There is another way to say it, but there should be an accent on the A. Sandwich de atun. Now, here's the deal, though. Look at this. That's only one item, okay? That's a tuna sandwich. You gotta have something else. I know it says day. I know it says day, and you're supposed to use day. But that, like I said, it's only one item. It's supposed to have two foods. It says it says a side dish, okay? So that's what I mean by that. You have to have something with it. Sandwich of, and then with whatever. Got it? See what I mean by that? All right, now, this might take you a little while. Precios, prices. <laughs> you have to research whatever country you're picking. What kind of money is it in that country, okay? In Mexico, they use pesos. If it's something in Spain, they use euros. If it's Peru, they use what's called quetzal. Okay, that's the name of their money, so you have to do a little research on that. Well, there's quite a few different countries that use pesos, but that's their country's peso, like the Mexican peso, the Argentinian peso. And you have to come up with a sensible conversion, okay? 10 pesos in, I think it's 100 pesos actually, in Mexico is actually equal to a dollar, okay? So you need to have sensible conversion. If you have for dinner steak with mashed potatoes, and you say it's a hundred pesos, <clears throat> that's only a dollar. So you have to look it up on the internet. You have to look up the conversion on the internet. Type in Mexican peso to American dollar. And it'll come up. It's on Google. It's pretty simple. And then you just and you just type in, maybe I'll even show you an example of what I mean. But then don't tell me if you write it's a hundred pesos. And I say, oh, you're saying a steak and mashed potatoes for a dollar? Like, well, no, my 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 restaurant, it's it's cheap. It's 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 cheap. No, come on. Okay, you just messed up the conversion. Okay. Yeah. Well. It could be like some Yeah. Well, yeah. well like I'm saying, it's got to be a sensible conversion. Okay. Don't say iced tea for twenty dollars. Okay. Whatever. Other precepts or other guidelines. Overall appearance of the menu. Overall, looking at the whole thing as a whole, would be five points. Remember, the cover is a separate. That's a separate grade on the front. The overall appearance of the menu in general is five points. Overall effort out of three points. Okay. You, uh, and we'll talk more about the art part a little bit later. There should be really no pencil or pen showing. Like, well, what are we supposed to use that? Markers. 
colored pencils. Um, okay? So you're going to do this now, but just not, you're going to do it on loose leaf first. Okay?